Welcome back, Chargers. We hope you had a great three-day weekend. I'm Melissa Argenbright. I'm Sophia Prothero. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Make sure, oh. Back to school night is tonight, so make sure your parents have your schedule and arrive on time to experience a day in your life as a DP student. La Patera School has a volunteer opportunity this Thursday for back to school night from 4.30 to 7.30. Visit DP website under Daily Bulletin to find out more about how you can help. And now a message from leadership. Hi, I'm Michelle Vera Botello. I'm Mandy Higgins. And we're your social awareness commissioners for leadership. September is Suicide Prevention Month, and in that honor, we're going to wear blue on Thursday, September 8th. So, so wear blue on Thursday! <laughs> we'll be wearing blue on Thursday, and we hope you will too. Want to get your spook on and scare people this Halloween? Get a golden ticket this Thursday during seminar and join us in the theater to participate in this year's haunted house. Mr. Sayer will give details then. If you would like to have a hall locker, pick out a locker that doesn't already have a lock on it and go visit Mrs. Cruz's outside door in the office before and after school. Make sure to write down the number so you don't forget which locker you want. Off-campus passes can also be picked up before and after school in Mrs. Cruz's outside door for juniors and seniors. Still haven't bought a yearbook yet? You can buy one online at dpyearbook.org under the yearbook store tab. As the school year goes on, the price of the yearbook increases, so make sure to purchase one as soon as you can. Now for a message about seminar for Mrs. Seltzer. Good morning, DP. Robin Selzer here for a quick announcement, just to let you know that starting this very day today, you can go to dphs.org and click on that seminar link and start signing up to come to the computer lab during seminar or to the math center during seminar or to the writing center during seminar to meet with the tutor. So if you are a junior this week, you will be going to the EPAC during seminar. Check in with your seminar teacher first. Don't sign up for one of these. If you're a senior, you'll be going to the EPAC on Thursday. So again, don't sign up for one of these on Thursday and check in with your seminar teacher first. But otherwise, the rest of you out there, go ahead and sign up if you need some help. And we look forward to seeing you in the centers. Now back to your DP News anchors. Wow, so I only have to ask my seminar teacher and sign up? Yep, it's that easy. The Writing Center will also be open after school starting on Monday. Wow, that's great. Bus passes are sold Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during lunch and after school. That's all for today, DP. I'm Sophia Prothero. And I'm Melissa Argenbright. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. It's Caleb Severson here with your sports report. Girls Volleyball had a successful weekend as they took home second place at the Laguna Blanca Invitational. Seniors Lauren Buey and Jackie Holmes led the way for the Chargers as they both were named to the all-tournament team. Awesome job, girls. Football bounced back after a tough loss at San Juan Hills to open the season. The Chargers played at Cabrillo and came away with a 37-0 win. Senior quarterback Kellen Roberts passed her 362 yards and four touchdowns. Roberts came out on fire, capping DP's opening drive of the game with a 10-yard pass to senior Marcellus Gossett. DP's next score came on a 17-yard TD strike to junior Cyrus Wallace. Roberts scored on a quarterback keeper and promptly went back to the air and hit Gossett for a 49-yard touchdown and a 27-0 advantage. Dust Pueblo's final touchdown was a 12-yard uh, -yard catch by senior Tommy Johnson. The Chargers' defense came up big all night, highlighted by Michael Elbert's interception at midfield. Football has their first home game of the year this Friday against Rigetti. Make sure to be at Scott O'Leary Stadium at 7 and fill the gold mine for this late game. Girls Tennis opens up their season today at Calabasas. Girls Golf has a match tomorrow against Oxnard. Cross Country has their first race of the season this Friday at the Seaside Invitational in Ventura. Boys Water Polo has their first set of games beginning this Friday as they co-host the SB Invitational. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather and surf report. Hey, 
PP, what's up? The sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report. Today's temperatures will be a high of 79 degrees and a low of 58 degrees with 87% humidity. There will also be little to no winds today. The surfers today will be a high of 5 feet and a low of 2 feet. So go surf those waves after school and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a, a rad day. day. We all know how it feels to be judged, whether it's at school, it's at work, it's at home, because of the clothes that we wear, the, the sports that we play, the music that we listen to, the things that we like to do, the group of friends that we hang out with, maybe it's the mistakes that we made. We all know what it feels like to be judged. I get thousands and thousands of emails, messages, comments, posts from students all across the country talking to me about how it feels to be not accepted by one group or not a part of another group, that their school is plagued by, by cliques and, and people judging other people. It's like you walk into the lunchroom and you know exactly where you can sit and where you can't sit and everybody's got their little place. You know what's crazy to me? That over 42% of all students say that they've been bullied online. Three million students nationally are absent every single month from school because they don't feel safe. Every day in our country, there's an average of over 5,000 students who have attempted suicide, and that's just grades 7 through 12. Where do these numbers stem from? I think it comes from the way that we judge each other. Judgment isn't just a high school problem. The way that we judge each other, it's a society problem. <laughs> if you don't believe me, just look at social media. Look at the things that people write about each other on Facebook, the comments on Instagram. It's the things that people tweet at celebrities. I mean, have you ever read the comments on a YouTube video? The world, it's more connected than ever. But bullying, cliques, prejudice, those things run rampant in our schools across the country. A lot of the reason judgment exists is because of the differences in how we value each other. You know, we hold someone as more valuable because they play sports or because they get straight A's. Or you judge somebody because of, you know, the neighborhood that they come from or the money that their parents make. Or we judge someone because of the music that they listen to or the color of their skin, their ethnic background or their sexual preference. And you know the way you kids hate how adults judge you? It's the way that they look at you for being different, for being young, for, for being unique. It's the same look, it's the same exact thing that you do to each other every single day. If you're the kind of person who judges someone, all it is is a pathetic little habit that starts when you're a kid and by the time you're an adult, you can't change because it's so rooted in who you are. It's like there's this totem pole that we base people on, like there's this top and this middle and this bottom and we base people based upon our own value system and wherever you're at on the totem pole, that's how you treat people. I mean, I've been on all sides of it. I remember walking into high school as a new student with, with purple hair and a Green Day t-shirt on and, and then I became a four sport varsity athlete and I thought I was more important than everyone else just because I played sports. I thought judgment would end after high school, but it doesn't. I mean, it continues on into the adult world. There's nothing that cracks me up more than when I walk into a room filled with adults and I watch them judge me for what I look like. I mean, judgment, it's something that you're gonna face for the rest of your life. And you can sit there and pretend it's not you. You can pretend that you haven't been bit by this poison. You can pretend that you don't have this little totem pole for the way that you evaluate people and, and the way that you judge people. But you have to realize something. All of us, we all have our own prejudices. We all make our own judgments. We have to understand that everyone has value. Everyone matters. I mean, if, if you're cutting yourself because you don't feel like you belong at school, you do. You matter. If you don't want to show up every morning because you feel like nobody hears you and nobody cares about you, if you're watching this and you feel like a ghost, you have to understand something. Every one of us matters. We all matter. But if each of us can understand that, that we've all got value, that we all matter, that's when we begin to change the culture of our schools.